Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so pleased to have this beautiful new release to show you this week. This is Charlotte by Envy in the color Almond Breeze. I'm very excited to get a good look at this romantic, loose, wavy, mid-length style. I think this is a wonderful kind of style for the summer months and uh, feels very light, I have to say, very comfortable and light on my head. Uh, and I'm still getting to know Envy a little bit. I've looked at a couple of Envy styles before and my mom actually wears a style by Envy, so it is near and dear to my heart. And I wanted to thank Shirley's Wig Shop for sending me this style so that I can review her for you. And to remind you that Shirley has a private Facebook group uh, that's a wonderful place to get to know other wig wearers, exchange ideas and information. I'll leave uh, the information below about exactly how you can join that group. And also to remind you, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, like and comment, and we'll get started. So as you can see, Charlotte here is just a lovely, mid-length wavy style. The waves are very loose, not at all overdone. It just looks like you loosely curled your hair. Uh, and I think that makes for this very romantic look that I absolutely love. I was immediately drawn to this style when I first saw the stock photos and um, can't wait to get a good look at all of the details. We do have just a few layers, not extreme at all. I would say shorter pieces. Here in the front, I found that they were just a little bit shorter um, and throughout uh, there are a few layers, but overall the effect is kind of all one length. Um, and I think that is just absolutely lovely. We do have an extended lace front. Let's get a good look at that. And that runs, I have to feel for it, from here to here on me. Really well done, especially in this color. You have the light fibers in the front, which really creates a virtually undetectable hairline with very delicate knotting and a very soft looking hairline. We have a center mono part, and right now we still have that zigzag parting there, um, but it widens towards the front. And I think what I want to do is, uh, of course, change the zigzag parting and then move the part line slightly to the left towards the front. I often do that. I just, for myself, happen to prefer a left part. So we will absolutely do that together and probably also steam the fibers away from the face a little bit the way I like to do so that we don't have fibers falling forward in my face throughout the day. That is just my solution that I prefer. So we will do all of that together, but let's go ahead and look at her from all sides right out of the box. Here she is from the right and the back. You can see that beautiful movement and the left. I hope you can see this lovely loose curl pattern. I just think it is stunning and romantic as we said and uh, can't wait to get started. So next we'll go ahead, change the part, do a bit of steaming, then we'll look at the cap construction. We'll go over some styling options for this lovely style. I'll take her outside so we can get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. And lastly, we'll go over final thoughts. So here we are. I have my rat tail comb and I want to go ahead and change the zigzag parting and then also move the part slightly to the left towards the front. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we can achieve some scalp appearance. Work on that center part first. And that's looking good. I do think uh, a little bit of scar tape under there will also help. And I like how the curls are falling. Okay, and then I want to move it just a little bit and you can feel for that part. Of course, you can also do this on a blockhead, but I think this is about where I can start moving the part to the left. All right. 
And you can see, you can absolutely change a center mono part style to have a, the appearance of a left part just by moving the part a little bit towards the front. So I think I like that. I'll get a good look at that uh, when I take her off before I put her on the blockhead. But we're going to have to steam this new part line in place so that it will stay. And then I also want to steam these fibers away from the face so that they don't fall forward like that. And I'll put her on the blockhead and we'll do that first though. I'm going to clip these fibers back because the minute I take her off my head, the fibers will want to move back to their original position. So I'll put her on the blockhead and we'll start steaming. As I mentioned, first I will steam the new part line in place and then I'll clip the fibers back and we'll create a little lift in the front and on the side here to steam the fibers away from the face on the blockhead. What I have is my eye steam steamer. This is just a little handheld clothes steamer that I like to use uh, and I purchased it on Amazon. I'll leave that in my description box down below. So we'll go ahead and get started. I have a full video on my channel all about how I like to steam style my wigs and I'll leave a link to that in my description box in case you'd like to watch it. It's important that you direct the steam at the fibers, not at the delicate lace front or monofilament portions of the cap. Keep your steamer moving. Don't leave it in any one place for more than three seconds. All right, that should do it. Now I need to let these fibers cool completely so that the new style can set and then I'll put her back on and we'll see if we like the results. So she's back on my head and the fibers are nice and cool now. Let's go ahead and see if we like the results. Absolutely, that's how I love it. It is staying out of my face beautifully. The waves look like they're falling in a really nice wave pattern around the face. And uh, we don't have any fibers falling forward. Let's go ahead and do the test. Once, twice. That's as much as these fibers are wanting to move forward now. So that is absolutely my preferred method for styling uh, fibers away from the face and not have them falling forward as much. Of course, there will be a number of styling options and we'll go over all of those later on in the video. So next, let's go ahead and we will look at the cap construction. First, I'll remove this piece of silicone scar tape. This is a one-sided tape that I like to apply on the underside of my monofilament parts and tops to help create scalp appearance where otherwise my dark bio hair might show through the monofilament. I like to use the AWD Medical Silicone Scar Sheets. I purchased these on Amazon and I will leave information about them in the description box down below. So as you can see, we have a center mono part here. You have a little bit of room to move that part around, but it is a dedicated center part. We have an extended lace front and it comes, I would say about halfway down the ear tabs on both sides. And this is a feature that I just absolutely love because this allows you to style the wig away from the face and still have that appearance of hair growth all along the extended lace front. So I'm a huge fan of that feature. Then we have soft ear tabs with metal stays, an extended nape for a bit of extra coverage and Velcro style adjusters. I have a 22 inch circumference head. All my measurements are listed in the description box down below as well, uh, so that you can compare them to your own. And I will say this cap fits me very comfortably. You see, I could still move the adjusters, tighten them or loosen them, um, but this fits me comfortably just like this. And we have open wefting on the sides and in the back, which creates a nice and stretchy cap. So wonderful cap construction. I did check the style for permatees and there is some permatees. I found some here in the crown area and in other places, but I feel that it's minimal, really well done, just helps maintain this beautiful wavy shape. Um, and you still have that very natural parting space there. So I think overall a wonderful cap construction on this style. Let's look at some styling options. 
I think I would want to wear this style just like this and not style her too much. I think she's so beautiful just the way she is, you know, when you're displaying all those gorgeous relaxed waves. Um, but we will look at some styling options uh, just in case you would like to see how you could wear her back or up, especially if it's warm out uh, and you just don't want to feel those fibers at all. So first, I always like to test an ear tuck, and I think I'll do a half a tuck. That's just my preference. Adorable. I think this is a wonderful way to just really keep any fibers from falling forward. Uh, and the way we've styled it, you know, with a little lift on this side, I think this really holds everything in place and you still are displaying some of those gorgeous waves. You could do a full tuck on this side as well. This color, of course, is not a perfect match for my bio hair, so I would want to use some root powder to lighten my bio hair and blend it with this color if I were to wear this color. Let's go ahead and look at a little claw clip. Uh, this is also a wonderful way just to keep these front fibers back throughout the day if you're working uh, and don't want to feel any fibers falling forward. This is just a simple solution and easily removed. And let's go ahead and do the headband because I want to show you exactly what kind of coverage I'm getting from this cap as well. And you can see with this extended lace front, this works really well and I think looks quite natural. Pulled back from the face completely with this headband. So again, we have that extended lace front. Let me feel for it. I think it comes from here to here on me. In fact, I have a little bit of bio hair under the lace there and might need to tuck that a little better. All right, and you can see we have that extremely realistic hairline with this lighter color. You really almost can't see any knots at all. And uh, I think that scalp appearance looks really natural as well. So I love that. The ear taps, let me make sure I have it on correctly. Um, I'm going to run my fingers along the ear tap so you can see where they fall on me. So that's really a nice amount of coverage for this cap. And as I said, it fits me very comfortably. I have a little bit of bio hair showing here, which is always the case uh, because I have a low hairline. So absolutely a wonderful uh, option for the summer months, I think. Lastly, I do want to show you a little ponytail. I just love trying ponytails and even though this is a mid-length style and I have a 22 inch circumference head, uh, I was able to create a small ponytail. So let me show you how I do that. Uh, I just have a simple little hair tie here and then I have this fun scrunchie with a uh, scarf attached. And so we'll do that quickly. So let me go ahead and pull it back into a ponytail. All right, and of course, some of these shorter pieces will want to fall out. You could either tuck them, pin them, or just let them frame your face. And then I'll take my little scrunchie and just wrap that around the ponytail that we already created. All right, hopefully that looks good. And I did want to mention uh, my bio hair is tucked under for this. So you are seeing the style in the ponytail without any bio hair. Let's go ahead and look at that from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. I love playing with accessories to just dress up your style a little bit and uh, you can easily do that with a style like this uh, in this length. So I would say pretty versatile and some wonderful options for the summer months. Next, we'll go outside and we'll get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. The color code is 18 22 and the description from Shirley's website is cool dark blonde and you can see that here blended throughout uh, with highlights it just says highlights uh, but it's another blonde shade that 22 and you can absolutely see the lighter fibers in the front here and just blend it throughout i'm seeing the highlights but i don't feel at all that this is too stripy 
Um, I think if you wanted to, you certainly could add some rooting. I would do that uh, with root powder, but I think this is a lovely, um, well-blended color and uh, just a gorgeous, striking, cool blonde. So let's get a good look at all the details out here in natural light. Again, we have that extended lace front, very delicate knots, a soft hairline, really well done. We have that parting space, that center mono part that I've parted a little bit to the left towards the front. And I did place some silicone scar tape under there to help create scalp appearance. So let's go ahead and look at this color from all sides out here. Here she is from the right. and the back and the left. I think this is a wonderful color for a relaxed kind of beach wavy style like this and wonderful for the summertime as well. Bright and cheerful on the cool side, absolutely. But I think it complements this style really well. So next we'll go over final thoughts. Charlotte here is just an absolutely adorable, beach wavy, mid-length bob style. I absolutely love these undone, relaxed waves that look relaxed and yet put together at the same time. I think the shape is so lovely in the back and I love how the waves fall around the face. It's just charming and beautiful. Um, I think you have these beautiful synthetic fibers. They feel so light and uh, they move beautifully. I think you can easily style this wig in a variety of ways. You can do a little tuck or pull it into a ponytail. Many, many options with this kind of a length. So I love that about it, especially for the summer. The uh, features, including the extended lace front, I'm a huge fan of because this allows you to style her away from the face and have that appearance of hair growth all along that extended lace front. You have a center mono part. And of course, I did part it a little bit towards the left, towards the front in the lace area there. And I think that works really well. So you have some parting options, absolutely. I think this color, this almond breeze is a beautiful darker blonde, definitely cool. And you have those highlights in there that I think are striking. You can see them, yet I don't think it's too stripey. And uh, I think the blend just creates this beautiful, cool blonde tone. So I wanted to remind you that you can purchase Charlotte from Shirley's Wig Shop and I will leave a link to her in my description box down below. Also, I hope as always that my review has been helpful and informative and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.